Last one for ceremony. We're making progress, my young friends. Uh, today, I don't have much for you to do other than for you to get started on your ceremony essay. I just want to take a couple minutes to kind of talk over through the essay topics to give you a little bit of a head start on this because it's not an easy book and I'm not here to answer questions for you. So if you take out your ceremony essay topics, uh, the first one, in what sense is the novel ceremony a ceremony for the reader as well as for Tayo? Um, so, as it is for Tayo, first you would explain how the book functions as a ceremony for Tayo and how he is in the beginning, what happens to him, and then the way he is in the end, right? And so, whether it's about learning the importance of the stories or learning the importance of change or, or whatever it is, showing how he is in the beginning, how he gets to the end, and the way he is at the end, right? Now, more importantly, is how is the ceremony for the reader, right? Now, the majority of the essay is not about you or the reader, right? Because that's not really in the book. Um, but what you could be talking about is how does this book change the reader, right? If the goal of a ceremony is to make somebody different or to change them or to make them undergo some type of experience to change, how do we change as a result of reading this, right? So you could talk about how the beginning is sunrise and the end is sunrise, and so thus it is a whole thing is a prayer, right? Or a ceremonial poem. Uh, but how does this change the reader, okay? Number two, what do animals symbolize in the novel? Uh, we read the animals and theme and ceremony. So you can use things from that. I know the article well, so don't just take the paper and make that paper your paper, right? You can't write the same paper as Peter Beadler does uh, because that's plagiarism, right? But what you can do is you can take things from it. As you go off to college and you start reading more critical analysis like we've been reading in here, scholarly articles written by professors and things, <clears throat> one thing you can do when you have to start coming up with your own paper topics is you can take ideas that they have that they don't explore as fully, like kind of a side point or a sub point, and then make that into your full point, right? Now, one of the points he brings up in there is how Tyo is reminiscent of the cattle, right? So what you can do is you can quote Peter Beadler in your introduction and make that your make that your thesis about how Tayo is representative of the the new breed of cattle, right? And using Peter Beadler's idea about that, and then you're building off of it, right? <clears throat> uh, discuss importance of dreams. What does Tayo dream about? So you would look at how his dreams are in the beginning and how his dreams are in the end, right? His dreams kind of are similar to the way he's doing mentally, right? So you would use a talk about for this one how uh, the author uses his dreams to demonstrate that Tayo is healing through the book, right? So you would need to show evidence of his bad dreams in the beginning, showing that he is not doing very well, and then how those begin to change to good ones. Uh, number four, readers sometimes find the reading of ceremony a disorienting experience in part because, because Silco frequently shifts time scenes and time frames without warning. How does this technique help the reader to participate in Tayo's thoughts, emotions, and experiences? Uh, so this is kind of writing about the structure of the book, right? And in the same way that his dreams kind of show what his mindset is, the, the way the narr narration is told does the same thing, right? And so in the beginning where his mind is disjointed, so is the narration. And you can show that, right? Because that's an intentional choice by the author. Um, when you're writing about literature, uh, generally you're explaining either why characters do what they do or say what they say, or why the author chose to put the things in the book that he or she chose to put into the book, right? <clears throat> so this would be one of those, right? How does reading a narration that is in the style of the mindset of the narrator change the way we understand the book, right? Uh, talk about how it disori disoriented in the beginning, and that's natural because Ty was disoriented in the beginning, right? And then going on through the book as he begins to heal, heal the narration becomes much more straightforward. Um, now, number five, uh, ceremony offers a suggestion that European settlers of America were created by the witchery of a nameless witch doctor. Now, what is the effect of this desertion? Does it make white people demonic by imitating that they are agents of evil and capable of doing good? Or, on the contrary, does it absolve them from the blame because they are merely tools of the destroyers? Now, it's, it was interesting to me that uh, white people were created by a mistake that Native people made in this story, right? How does that affect the understanding of the story? How does it affect Native people, right, and the way they look at white people and the way that white people should look at themselves in this instance, right? Uh, number six, how do the poems and legends that are interspersed through Silco's text influence your reading in the novel? This one is the one where you're doing kind of a comparison between what's going on in the plot of the poem and what's going on in the plot of the book, right? So you would use things that, uh, characters and various things that are kind of match up and kind of similar in the two stories and explain how those two work together. And lastly, this is the one where uh, comparing Tayo to the new breed of cattle, right? And I've kind of talked through that one. Now, if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, you can shoot me an email. Um, and your paper is due Monday morning on uh, the 20th of April by 8.15 on Turnitin.
Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, tomorrow, you will not have an assignment or anything to work on in here because it is just a work day. So you can get going on your reading. And also, uh, Heart of Darkness is also due and the notes are due on Monday. So if you need extra things to do, uh, there is that to work on as well. Thank you. If you have any questions, let me know.